So, I have some drill bits, you can probably see, I actually have a lot of them, broken tips, no longer cutting, broken as hell, so I'm gonna make one of these. Basically, uh, it's my version of a four point or four facet drill sharpener. So I'll be able to fix everything from 3 millimeters and up and get them better than when I bought them in the store. So I'll start with a couple of plates with this epoxy coated plates because they slide, uh, they're waterproof, they don't swell and once I seal them up they will last for a long time. So I cut two boards, 280 by uh, 280 and one that's 280 by a little bit, so that I can put them together as so. A couple of uh, drawer slides, 250, and I'll cut this pattern into, uh, into one of the two plates, and uh, cut a groove mount this channel in it and uh, the drill bit holder which is 3D printed will slide in this groove and I'll have some adjustments on the side here somewhere with some screws to make it very accurate so that I can get a, a nice four point or four facet drill bit Now, this will go on here, the drill bit sharpener will be here in this slot and it will move back and forth like this, but there's a problem getting this, I can't get it to grip hard enough here to stay in place, so I'm going to need to figure out some kind of a simple solution to lean it on the floor or something like that so that it gets stable in this direction okay so I guess it's time to test it out here's the temporary drill bit holder as you can tell this has been one I've been experimenting with uh, put the track on top here this goes in here it will have a distant adjustment here so that it will only go to a certain point, not any further. This bolt needs to go further down as well, or I have to grind it off. And it will basically move across here. And then I will drop it down and print or uh, sharpen the second facet. I'll get some drawings up as well so that people can make their own versions. So a lot of adjustments on this so it's not uh, very accurate. These 3D parts will be uh, available on the Thingiverse as well. I'll talk more about how to make that in a little bit. So. There we go. Good. Once I get uh, adjustment on there, I think that will be good. We're, uh, well, there's a temporary fix, just with a bracket and a bolt with a screw on it. So I can adjust the height up and down as I move this across with the drill bit on top on the other side. So 
I've been playing around with it for a while. If you see here, yeah, you can see it's um, producing very nice facets. Even though I'm just doing this manually, I don't have a screw adjustment yet. I uh, basically need to make this bigger so that the threaded rod can come beneath this one to get the micro adjustments I need. But it works like hell. So what I need to improve is the stability of this. It needs to be uh, tight. I also need to square off the stone. As it is, it has a little bit of motion in it and uh, it creates this uneven edge like curved little edge but it will still drill like there is no tomorrow the drill bits I fixed up are superb even though they're not perfect but they're a hundred times better than they were I'll uh, come back once I've sorted out a more stable mount and a way to square up so made this little bracket which is the, the angle I want on the first cut this is 9 degrees, I think. I just put it like that and adjust this up and down on the screw here until it's the right angle. And then it's basically ready to cut. Now, I put the length guide on and uh, fucked around with some bits and that is a perfect four point facet four facet absolutely perfect and it eats through like nothing it drills really really well and this bit was completely broken was destroyed so uh, I guess it works if I were to do this again, I would uh, make it a little bit smaller. I would use uh, piano hinges, because there's a little bit of play in the hinges I got. I might actually skip the top adjustment altogether with this and just make a groove uh, straight down in the angle I use the most, like 118. Because if you look at that, that is fucking perfect. I did not expect to get that result. So, I would probably not make this ditch, I would probably make an edge, a single tight ledge for a later version. And uh, I would keep the big block for the holding the bit. It's a lot more stable and I would definitely find some other way to do this distance measurement. As it is now it will do the job and I'll publish everything about this. I have the distance measurement here. This distance is the same as the distance between the uh, measuring point and the rock so that the angle is always correct. But I would definitely make some changes if I built this from scratch again. Um, this one actually does the job really well, but I think it can still be improved. So maybe I'll do that in some future project. Specifically then in regards to uh, the side rail. Because this is not a very good patent, I think. Especially not on the other end where this actually comes in the way which is the main reason why I had to make, make this big block in the first place so I'll publish this this is good for now I can sharpen all my drill bits and get them up to scratch uh, one more thing it's extremely important that the stone is true. So I took one of these, which is actually bay, uh, made for uh, leveling off 
uh, grindstones on uh, bench grinders. You know those machines that go a lot faster than this? And I basically ran it. I attached it and ran it until the stone was completely 100% uh, compared to uh, this angle. And also uh, it was even with no high spots or low spots. It's very important to get a good result that you actually have that. But um, as you can see, once you have that in place, it produces flawless drill bits. Absolutely fucking flawless. So <clears throat> I've been playing around with it. And as you can see, it creates very good drill bits. The holes are perfectly round with a four point or four facet uh, drill bit. It, uh, if it's good quality steel in the bit, it will come out razor sharp. And all I do is I have a bolt like this, just adjust the height between the first and second facet and then I uh, grind the right uh, second face on the on the lower nut here. So I do the first one here which is the cutting edge. Uh, I can do 7, 9, 11, 14 degrees whatever I want on the cutting edge and then I simply drop it down and do the secondary edge just by adjusting this up and down. So it works fairly good. Uh, if I were to do this again I would have a much larger stone. I can see that the this is too small a diameter to do very large drill bits. On small drill bits it's okay but on very large drill bits you get a, a concave cutting edge which is not good. So should have a bigger stone. I might not actually do this adjustment part on the board and instead of having this channel I would just have a single uh, flat piece of aluminum uh, going into the bar. The big block is definitely helpful. It gives a very stable uh, mechanism and I would definitely do a different version of this. Maybe something spring-loaded. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna publish the drawings and everything for this and then I'm gonna try to think about making uh, a version 2.0 and see if we can make it uh, even better.